So this, is, the movie, Am I Racist? Matt Walsh's movie comes out today. And the, the people that he basically trapped in that movie are deleting are deleting or deactivating their Twitter accounts like crazy. Oh my God, I love it. Including Robin D'Angelo, hence my name today, Robin DiMacalo. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> she is one of them. And so they are running scared. And I love it. It's so it's fantastic. So beautiful. I love that last sentence. Matt is single-handedly destroying wokeism by simply asking them what they think. <laughs> right? I, I mean, uh -huh. that is just so perfect. Mm -hmm. And Robin D'Angelo, because if you saw the trailer that we played a few weeks ago, at the very end, you can see that he actually got Robin D'Angelo fooled enough to participate in the movie. Mm -hmm. And we were all just like, oh my God, how is that going to go? So I cannot wait to see that. Um, she has responded and we are going to share with you her response momentarily. But first, I don't know if you guys noticed our red lipstick today. We do have red, both of us have red lipstick on. And it's actually the same, which is amazing because you can kind of see that like the same color can look different on different people, which is- yeah. Most exciting things about this color. This color, you guys, is called drum roll, please. Maga red. Maga red. Maga red. Forty-seven. And the little caption underneath says, "Making America Great Again, one lip at a time." And then the, it's actually it, the lipstick itself is really it, like the container is really cool. See, look at how beautiful that is. I know, right? It yeah. is so beautiful. And by the way, it is so it's a tribute to the MAGA movement. It's a symbol of American pride. Make America glamorous again, y'all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See what we did there? <laughs> MAGA. It is a very specific red. This was developed right here in the United States, by the way. It is a very specific red, MAGA red number 47, of course, in anticipation of Trump's victory in November. And it's American made and manufactured. It is all the free things that you want it to be. So it's certified kosher, halal, vegan, cruelty free, certified by leaping bunny, all of those things that you care about when it comes to cosmetics, you, you are covered when it comes to this particular lipstick. And so this is really a tribute to the MAGA movement. And when you visit go red four, seven.com slash chicks, you can take advantage of their BOGO offer right now. Grab one for yourself. Or and grab one for your bestie if you want to. Or here is what I think is the better idea now that they're doing this BOGO offer because these are very limited edition. Like they're once they're gone, they're gone. Um, I would recommend with the BOGO thing keeping one to use and then keeping one like right as, that you don't as use. it like a collector's item as a collector's mm -hmm. item exactly. Yeah, agreed. I think that's the best way to handle the BOGO thing. That's mm -hmm. just my personal opinion. If you want to yep. gift it, you do I'm right you. There. I'm right there with you. But I kind of like the idea of just saving one. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Because obviously mm -hmm. I'm going to use it. Like, look at, I mean, that looks good. It's a great color. It's fantastic. Who doesn't really like red lipstick, red. you guys? It's right? fabulous. I know, right? Um, and by the way, part of the proceeds will go to the Trump campaign as well. So this is a really, really good way to support your candidate and also to look glamorous. So just go to goredforseven.com slash and I love that idea from Kathleen to buy one for Kamala. I think that is a fantastic. Oh my idea. God. We should totally buy one for <laughs> Kamala. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. Back to the news. We need to talk more about all of this. Am I racist stuff? And Robin D'Angelo's statement. She God, released, that's a long statement. Oh my God. It's forever long. We're obviously not going to read it out loud, but you can go Good look at Lord. it. Lord. She released a three page statement. Ugh, Robin. And I was actually really glad that she described how this happened because I was very much wondering how did they pull this off, right? Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. apparently last year, there was this group that claimed to be making the documentary film called Shades of Justice. This is how they spun it, okay? Okay. And that and that they spun it as this way to address racism in the United States. They wanted to interview all of these anti-racist activists, authors, thought leaders, and they offered between 10 and 20 grand for her to participate. So she said, How about we settle on 15? Oh my god. And then she agreed to it because she's a money grubbing, racist, grifting hag. Right. And so she claims that right when she got there, like things didn't feel right because it looked like he was wearing a fake wig. No one would look her in. 
in the eye. You think? You <laughs> right. think it looked like that, Robin? Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> and so then there was apparently what he made her do is there they had this black producer or crew member on the set, and they and Matt said, Hey, why don't we have you give him some cash? because of reparations. Like you always talk about helping black people. Why don't you give him some of your own cash right now? Right. And she says she was like so uncomfortable um, and like was worried that Ben, this black guy would be mm -hmm. like super uncomfortable. And he was like, no, I'm totally down. Like hand me all the cash. Give me, give me some money. I'd love to have some cash right now. <laughs> Who doesn't want cash? I, I just ask you. love this so much. So she, anyway, she goes on and on and on. And she's like, their deception was so carefully planned and well-funded. And Matt Walsh is like Satan essentially. And here's what the Southern Poverty Law Center says about him. I mean, give me a break. It's like, oh, she has to, she has to do that. She has to bring in the Southern Poverty Law yes. Center. And her, give me a break. I know. God. And then she's like, I'm not going to see the film. Bullshit. She of will be absolutely in the front row seeing it, dying to see how bad she looks. Of course she's going to see it. She's going to go in there in her own wig and a beard <laughs> incognito, and she's going to totally see it. Absolutely. She will. Oh my gosh. They anyway. will not prevail in their efforts to stop the work for racial justice and grifting. <laughs> the hag. So she releases the statement and Matt responded and said, Robin D'Angelo has issued a statement denouncing our film. She claims that the movie is, quote, designed to humiliate and discredit anti-racist educators and activists. She couldn't be more correct in that <laughs> assessment. <laughs> Thank you, Robin. <laughs> so great. It's just great. You gotta oh love God. it. It's yeah. You gotta love it. 